Welcome to The Know, I'm Ashley Jenkins. And I'm Ryan Haywood. You might have been burned by Titanfall's lack of depth, but Respawn's at it again with the release of Titanfall 2, this time promising to stuff their new game full of mechy goodness and then some. Prepare for Titanfall 2 reviews, because they're already out several days ahead of the game's release this Friday, which means we can ask the most pressing question of all. You know, besides whether or not this game is going to have enough content to sustain its uh, player base, is Titanfall 2 any good? Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, so we got a couple questions to answer. Hmm. The early results are in, and so far the answer seems to be, yeah, pretty good. Titanfall 2's early current Metacritic scores are 81 on PC and 88 on PS4 and Xbox One. Although that PC score should be perhaps taken with a grain of salt, as most of these reviews were written after a two-day experience with Titanfall 2 hosted by EA. Uh, PC Gamer reports that they haven't really had any access to the game on PC as of yet, so it might be a few more days and maybe even after a release before we actually hear about its kind of technical performance on the PC platform. Yeah, those Metacritic averages hold fairly consistently with the first game, which netted an 86 on Xbox One and PC and 83 on Xbox 360. So that could bring good tidings or bad depending on your point of view and how much you enjoyed Titanfall 1. In terms of the more notable outlets who reviewed Titanfall 2, Game Informer sc scored it at 9.5, Digital Spy and Games Radar gave it kind of a 4.5 out of 5 stars, GameSpot and PlayStation Lifestyle gave it 9 out of 10, US Gamer gave it 4 out of 5 stars, and Polygon awarded it 7 out of 10 whatevers. <laughs> so it sounds like they're all about 90, but the one outlier there. So generally, reviewers were happy to report that the game is much bigger than it was the first time around, that the multiplayer is still a blast to play, and that the campaign is a huge success. So Respawn's gotta be pretty happy about all that. Yeah, however, on the negative side, reviewers criticized Titanfall 2 for having a fairly weak story, not quite enough maps in multiplayer, and for not being quite as tightly polished as Titanfall 1 was, which sort of makes sense considering the original was basically one mode. There's not that much to screw up and lots of player testing for it. it gets all your focus. Of course, the single player campaign is the big thing that people are probably most curious about in Titanfall 2 since the first game didn't have one. Respawn has been trying to keep details light in order to avoid spoilers, which has kind of added to the intrigue. It's the reason that there wasn't a PC beta is they didn't want people data mining mm. it. So Mums let the that word. be a lesson to you. Uh, taking Titanfall's beloved mechanics and inserting them into a well-crafted campaign is definitely something that people have been looking forward to. And according to many reviewers, Titanfall 2 does deliver on that front with great success. Games Radar, who calls the game one of the most finely crafted single player experiences of the year, writes, this isn't simply an FPS highlighted with isolated sections of Mirror's Edge style platforming as it could have been. This is a game in which the entire fabric of everything you do in combat, in navigation, in environmental puzzling, and in the many seamless hybrid sections that blend to or all of the above, is powered entirely by the unprecedented, truly three-dimensional movement Titanfall 2 affords you. And they weren't the only ones that felt that way. Digital Spy called the campaign one of the best they've played in years, writing that before you know it, you'll be chaining together runs, jumps, and art tool blasts to reach new areas. In its own way, Titanfall 2 feels like the game where Modern Warfare and Portal 2 meet. Damn. It's pretty high praise. <laughs> uh, for many reviewers, the big takeaway from the six to eight hour campaign was that it offers a ton of variety in terms of gameplay. You'll be tasked with vertical puzzles, boss fights, jumping across huge chasms in a big airship versus airship battle, and much, much more. Uh, but not all reviewers were too fond of Titanfall 2's approach. Polygon, in particular, was kind of down on the campaign, saying Titanfall 2's campaign is often a demoralizing slog to play. Ouch. Ah, that is harsh. Enemy AI is idiotic and encounters feel haphazard. Spaces are often too large to feel designed around pilot combat, even when BT is not an offensive option. So take that, you're 70%. As for the story itself, it appears to be lacking, I guess. Polygon panned the story as well as the gameplay, complaining that it assumes a lot of familiarity with the first game's lore, which is a little bit weird, given that it basically had no story at all, except in that weird multiplayer campaign. Yeah, my big takeaway from that is that there are two teams of people with giant robots in space uh, ships that don't like each other. No, see, here's the thing is there's a, <clears throat> a corporation and then there's like a militia. So it's like- Right, yeah, yeah. one was like the rebels. Yeah. And then they blew up the Death Star. Yes. Got it, okay, it's all coming back to me. 
Uh, they weren't the only dissenters on the game's story either. GameSpot states, Unfortunately, the writing here is lacking. Your main enemies are outlandish villains, and the plot ends abruptly before it feels like it should. I wonder if they twiddle their space for Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's old Tommy Ryan. <laughs> but on the plus side, the relationship between Jack Cooper and his newly acquired Titan, BT7274, is the story's high point, with many heartfelt moments between the two. Uh, while it was assumed for some time that there'd be nothing to worry about in regards to Titanfall 2's multiplayer, the recent beta did cause a bit of concern from serious fans. Uh, fortunately, it sounds like Respawn might have righted the ship just ahead of launch. That's what a beta's for! According to a number of reviews, the multiplayer plays just as well as the first games, only with more variety, customization, better maps, and brand new Titans and modes to mix things up. Uh, GameSpot loved the pace and variety of Titanfall 2's multiplayer, writing, while the first Titanfall was always turned up to 11, so to speak, with smaller maps and cookie-cutter titans focused on dealing damage, Titanfall 2 understands the value of breathing room. Digital Spy echoes the love for the multiplayer, saying, Respawn really seems to have thought about how to create maps to service specific game modes, and about how to create spaces that work on both the pilot and titan scale. One of the biggest changes comes to the, in the form of new titans, which make the game feel almost like a MOBA, as opposed to a run-of-the-mill shooter there's, with mechs. There's like six. There's like one that can like <clears throat> fly, there's one that does like fire stuff. And Godzilla. Tr like, He's great. And Mecha Godzilla. Lock on uh, Lock on missiles. And Pikachu. Uh, yes. Game Informer loved the change, writing, These classes add a bit of tactical leeway in Titan battles that weren't there in the original game. And the changes don't stop with the new Titans, as Titanfall 2 also offers a new depth of customization and unlockables, which was celebrated by PlayStation Lifestyle in particular, who wrote, Titanfall 2's weapons may not have as many unlocks as some other games, but the ones that they do have are useful. Beyond the number of unlocks, the guns in Titanfall 2 are just fun to use. I don't think there is a single weapon in the game that I don't plan to max out. So, you know, the multiplayer's fine, guys. Eh, don't worry about it. Yeah, which yeah. is the, the thing that you're going to spend the most time with the campaign. It's only Probably. six to eight hours. So whether or not Titanfall 2 is a success is going to depend on if gamers are forgiving enough to give the franchise a chance after the first time around. Admittedly, it did tend to fall off pretty quickly with a lot of people, although those who still play it really still play it. Mm -hmm. In general, Titanfall was considered a fun, inventive game that put a mark on the first-person shooters for years to come, uh, but a lack of content sidelined it from having any longevity. Despite It did move more than 10 million units, though. So and it did have... As a, as a new franchise, that's pretty decent. That's pretty good, and it did have several DLCs. So, I mean, the and I think a lot of the developments they made in the map-making style, you can really see them getting their legs under them in those later DLC maps, which are a lot more open, but do have those tighter pilot areas, too. So they really improved it as they went through the DLC process. Yeah, but one of the things that's not mentioned in a lot of the reviews either, though, is that there's no season pass for Titanfall 2, that they're going to be doing like new, really? new, new maps and modes and everything all free. Oh, okay, which great. Which is, a, a, in my opinion, is a huge like points towards it because no one does that. That's, I mean, I wonder if Rockstar has really kind of changed the the way that DLC is viewed in some ways with you have a long-standing multiplayer uh, environment that is going to be your real legacy with a game. So microtransactions. There you go. Yeah, you're just going to sell you lots of cash. <laughs> so, <laughs> <coughs> so fortunately, it sounds like Respawn took all the criticisms of the first game to heart, basically delivered a game that chucks off all the boxes that players took issue with before, and the result, pretty well-reviewed game. And hopefully that uh, free DLC gives it legs for a long time to Hopefully come. They'll, they'll hold to that. Uh, the verdict seems to be that if you love the gameplay of Titanfall, but found its depth to be lacking, Titanfall 2 would be the perfect game for you to dive back into the series. It offers the same frenetic but well-polished gameplay, only this time with kind of a story that knocks it out of the park in terms of fun factor, even if it may be poorly written in some parts and not as long as you might like. And then, of course, based on all the free DLC and everything, if you're looking to have more fun in multiplayer, Titanfall 2's got all that for you as well. So what do you guys think of the positive reviews for Titanfall 2? Do you plan on buying it this week? Let us know in the comments. And for future updates on all the season's biggest game reviews, like this video and subscribe to The Know. I'm ready to get back in a mech. Arrogant words. Strap one on. It, the campaign does seem very brotastic. It's, they really leaked such little dribbles out though. It's like, BT! That's the, you, as long yeah, as they have like, a relationship with the robot, that's all I need.